All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to week number 77. My name is Mr. McLogan, and this is Open Live Q&A, where I go ahead and take your uh, questions that you guys uh, pre-submit in my Google form, um, or you can also go ahead and submit them in the chat as we go through the live stream. I wanted to start off this open Q&A, though, talking about some summer school. Now, I know some of you, depending on you know where you're at in the school year, you might have already started summer school. You might maybe still have the option to get into summer school or not to get into summer school. So I thought I would just spend a little bit of time of thinking about some of my thoughts that have kind of come into my head as far as how we prepare for this upcoming school year. Because I have some things that I am going to be doing to um, help my own students as we get into kind of like one in July. I don't really like to talk about the getting prepared. Until then, I like to you know keep my brain um, a little bit open and fresh. And then but once July hits, I really want to kind of um, get started with that. So I do have some thoughts in there, but I definitely wanted to see from you guys if you are taking um, summer school or maybe if you've already started. So let me know down in the chat below. I already see that uh, Angelo and George and Joseph are on, does summer college. Yeah, well, I mean, not really. I mean, I think a summer college course is, I wouldn't count that as summer school. Um, I mean, I guess... I, I think as far as the – when I think of like a summer school, I'm thinking of like a reme – not a much of a remedial, but yeah, like a um, something to – not so much as like you progressing your math content. You know, if you're just taking classes over the summer, I guess you could call that summer school technically. Um, my thought, which, uh, you know, a lot of the words that I've been hearing is, you know, schools that have been like extending the year into the summer program to really help facilitate students – um, learn a lot of what they were supposed to learn throughout the year. And that's where I kind of have a little bit of the issue. But if I think if you're just taking a regular class during summer, I mean, that's been going on for, for years and years now. Uh, I am not starting summer school. <laughs> I have an AP calculus pack to do over the summer. Yeah, ooh, that's good, Mr. Cheese. And Addy, good to see you on here. Um, please increase the size of the equations on the screen. Okay, I can base... Mm, hmm, yeah, I think I can still do that. We'll see which some of these, not that. All right, I can see a little bit. Yeah, it kind of seems like it's coming in a little bit different um, for me, so I do apologize for on that. But yes, I'll do that. Thank you, Addy, for the heads up. Also, five. Um, I, do you have multiplying complex numbers? I did get that. Um, I'm not sure which one your question was, but I think they were at the end. Um, so I have these two. I'm not sure if you submitted both of these, but um, I have multiplying complex fractions that we will cover at the um, end. Um, I am sorry, I'm watching all the way from uh, Namibia. Well, great to have you on. Well, thank you and welcome. Um, I'm not taking a lot of summer classes because I'm going to college for computer science. Well, awesome. And what is the difference in... I am not sure what would the difference be. And thank you for the happy Father's Day. And I wish all of you um, happy Father's Day to all of... Uh, um, you might be joining on, or also to wish your own fathers um, a happy Father's Day for those of you that celebrate. Um, okay, okay, cool, cool. Mathway, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I use Notability too. Yes, I love Notability. It's awesome. You guys can see how many notes I have. It's crazy. Like, I have a lot of notes. 333. I know you can probably even have more, but you got to think, like, right now, this has, hmm, how many pages does this have? I don't know. And, oh, this one has 63 pages. So if you remember what I did last year, I did the same thing. I did 365 days. I can't remember, but I think I ended up having like over, I was definitely over 100 pages of math work, which is just crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I was thinking of as far as my kind of issues with summer school. And again, this is summer school that is like a remedial summer school. I think if you're taking a math class online uh, or just a math class through the summer, I have no problem with that. I think that is, you know, something if you're trying to better or imp if you're trying to, you know, continue your education throughout the summer and that's what you feel is, um, you know, going to be like the right move, then hey, I, I'm like all for that. My problem is, which I kind of mentioned in my email uh, this week was like, I think through what we went through last year and all of the adjustments that we all had to make through education, I think one of the important things that we had to do as teachers was we had to cut out a lot of the material that we typically would just kind of throw into you know the classroom, just throwing that we make students would learn that they probably really didn't need to learn. Um, and we allowed and forced a lot of teachers and a lot of school districts to really focus, to really you know dial down on like the most important information. Because I mean, you know, if you're in a school like mine, I mean it was difficult trying to do the online learning, trying to you know do hybrid learning. 
So this, this idea of that we can teach everything like it's a normal year, um, while a lot of people try to, you know, go and do it. And, and again, like that's, I mean, we still kind of had the mindset of like, Hey, even though we're, you know, doing this hybrid learning, like we're still going to try to put, you know, we still want to have a successful year and teach as much content as possible. But in reality, this year was not like last year and there's no way that it could possibly be. So there was information we had to focus on, you know, and some of the topics we just said, Hey, I don't have time to be able to complete this, you know? And so I think for a lot of benefit for me, I saw that as actually a positive because there's a lot of content that I see that we're still teaching in the, you know, mostly in the high school curriculum. Obviously, once you're getting into college and you're going into like math degrees, that's a little bit different. So I'm talking about more about general mathematic curriculum, you know, mostly in the high school realm. Or if you are in college and you're just taking, you know, you're taking a math class, but you're not really going into a computer science or a math degree or a physics or anything like that or an engineering um, but if you're just taking those kind of general, general math courses, we're still making students have to know a lot of this material that I think is just kind of not as necessary um, as it used to be. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, hmm. I forgot to plug in the internet. Okay, that's all right. So um, hopefully you guys let me know if it um, let me know if it needs to buffer a little bit more from on there because I did not actually hardwire this in. So I'm actually going off my Wi-Fi right now. So if it seems that my internet is slow, um, let me know on the chat and I can go and get my hardwire in. I kind of actually totally forgot to do that again this time. So let me know on that. But yeah, if I start buffering, please let me know. Um, so what? Um, so so we took out a lot of curriculum, and I, what I feel like a lot, what I'm seeing a lot of districts and a lot of the chatter that I've kind of seen is the summer school is their kind of way to kind of put some of that content of making students the stuff that we really didn't need to learn and just kind of pushing that back into students. And I, I just don't think that is the, the right approach. I think the, we need to build off of what we just went through on the, on the COVID. I think we need to um, really look at and assess the content that we are teaching, how we're teaching it, and how students are going to be successful in their math classes. And if we're just going to try to take summer school and say, oh, we missed classes, and let's throw students into back into the classroom and try to you know, force feed them down this old mathematical curriculum, well, then we're just going back to the old ways. And that's what I, that's what I had a problem with this. That's why I said skip summer school, because if that is the situation, and again, this is a very broad statement, because not everybody's summer school is exactly as I'm describing it. But if your summer school is a, something where you're going back into a broad statement, or I'm sorry, if you're going back into a, what was the word I was just saying? I just lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, it was buffering. All right. Thank you, Maddie. Um, but yeah, if it's just going back to the old, the old days of, you know, making you go back and, you know, rote memorization and, and a lot of these old processes and stuff, I don't think that's the right approach. I think what we... What we got to do is we got to look forward, and what we want to do is take what we did last year and say, all right, you know, what is the most? What can we learn from that year? What is the content that we want our students to go through, and then move from there? Now, as a math teacher, I know there's a lot of skills that students lost. I know there's a lot of techniques and processes upgrade, and kind of acting as a supplement just to try to support, but it's still encouraging that kind of. Um, it's so encouraging that. Um, the investigation and students to really do work through a lot of those problems, I don't have as much of the problem with it um, as long as it's supporting the students into going into that next year. Because my idea, which I've talked about, um, I would much rather see rather than I, – I like the summer. I think the students need time off. And I think it's much better for you to have time off away from school to kind of reflect on this year, to reset from this year. And then really just to kind of go into this new year knowing that possibly there's going to be some gaps in your understanding. There's some gaps in your mathematical ability. And what you're rather going to do is rather than spending time during the summer, you know, and if you're just trying, they're just trying to force feed you down material that you were supposed to learn that you never did, that you're going to forget anyways in another two more weeks because now you're just going to have half of a summer. Like why go through that? In my thought, what I'd much rather have you do, you are lagging hardcore. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. I will upgrade my stream.
Be right back.